currently competing at the Olympic swim trials in Indianapolis and is qualified to make her return to the big stage yet again, but that's not all. 44 News reporter Amy Faisenbaker sat down with one local swimmer who received King's gold medal from the trials. And there's the ovation for the Hoosier native. Lily King, the world record holder, continues to push the envelope as she heads to Paris in a few short weeks. But for 10-year-old Avery Bryant, she not only witnessed King secure another chance to go to the Olympics, but also the gold medal she received because of it. I thought she was just going to go up and wave at us or sign yeah. something, and then she took off her medal and gave it to me. The Greater Evansville Aquatic Swim member has been competing in the pool for three years now. And she trains at the facility where King is commemorated. One of my first team records was Lily King's 100 freestyle. For Avery and her best friend, Mally, it was a joyous moment that will play on repeat in their heads. It's always been my dream to meet her. But for Steve Bryant, Avery's father, he tells me how unbelievable the moment was, not just for his daughter, but for him as well. I mean, it's like a once-in-a-lifetime moment. Uh, to see your kid meet their hero, and their hero be everything that you thought they would be. It was an inspiring moment. And just like the mural hanging up here at the Aquatic Center of Lily King, Avery tells me it's a constant reminder to always chase your dreams and never forget how far you can truly go. It makes me like, want to go faster. Just keep going. Shattering records, accumulating medals, and racking up titles, Lily King has proved it's attainable. That's what we've been talking about with these Olympic trials. You can do it. It's nothing is impossible if you want it bad enough. Motivating the next generation, that's what it's all about. We just need to do great things, like she did. Lily King will swim in the 200-meter breaststroke tonight in Indianapolis for the chance to compete at two events for the 2024 Olympics. And her biggest supporters believe she can do it. Yeah, totally sure. Reporting in Evansville, Emmy Faisenbaker, 44 News.